終わりだよ安らかに眠るがいい Alright Honestly, I'm really torn I, I've re this, is my this is my second time Well, excuse me, this is my first time re-recording this video Because I'm trying to like figure out how to word this controversy properly so that Caleb's white knights don't come in like hornets, bro. Because <laughs> like, I'm not, yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I swear, some people in this community really suck off Caleb's nipples, like they owe them something, bro. Like, anyways, let's just get into this controversy, and y'all can like make an assessment or judgment for yourself. And uh, I'm personally a bit upset about it. It had, it didn't affect me personally but i can definitely see how it could affect somebody else all right so as you see here this is the data mined information that we got um when uh the chronicle quest stuff came out you'll see here chronicle quest free stage fragment bonuses free stage one kenpachi shansui jushiro free stage three renji ichigo and yoroichi now the controversy stems from this free stage two where it's toshiro redux version spirit society rangaku and huekomundo green uryu now, as you see here, the Chronicle Quest selection summons, correct, actually has Red Uryu, which a lot of people didn't really understand why he was in there to begin with. However, as you progress through the story mode of Chronicle Quest Part 3, he's actually bonus in some parts, but he's not bonus in the free stages, correct? Uh, so, as you see here, I personally haven't even started Part 3, that's why I had my friends send me screenshots, and you'll see here that these are the bonus characters. You'll see here that you have Yoroichi, Renji, and Transforming Bankai Ichigo. Now, for those that summon on this banner, you might be inclined on summoning in order to get a 5-star version of the 6-star version that you already have, but you can run the 6-star, the 5-star, and then another Fragment bonus unit, okay? You ideally would like to be running three fragment bonus units whether it be the damage bonus or just the fragment bonuses alone and i personally went up to step four because i wanted yoroichi or a dupe five star version so that i can run triple bonus fragments so i did end up fortunately pulling uh, transforming bankai ichigo on the fourth step now the problem herein lies with this right you have the bonus for kenpachi jushiro and shunsui and then you have this now this is where the where, where stuff gets a bit iffy and this is where i think that compensation in my opinion is necessary and uh, i understand where people are yeah let, let me just say the controversy and then i'll i'll, I'll give my uh opinion and then y'all can chime in in the comments below whatever you want to do all right you have redux toshiro you have green uryu you have red uryu and you have rangaku however the banner dropped before this red uryu was actually put as a bonus unit for free stage two all right this led a lot of people to spend even more orbs than they would have under the impression that this red uryu was not a bonus for free stage 2. this red uryu was added after the release of chronicle quest part 3 and of course if you are a tryhard or you go out of your way to do chronicle quest immediately all right so for this person in particular they ended up summoning on the banner uh, i don't really know how many steps they did but they ended up summoning on the banner under the impression that they didn't have all the fragment bonus units. So this person had green Uryu, he has Spirit Society Rangaku, but he was missing Redux Toshiro. And since this Uryu wasn't bonus until after he summoned on the banner, he kept trying to summon until he pulled either Rangaku or Redux Toshiro, which <laughs> of which he pulled neither. Right? So he ended up spending, I don't know how many orbs, doesn't even matter how many orbs, but he didn't pull one of the characters he actually needed, and I don't really know, uh, so he's down to like 20, uh, 224 orbs, so obviously he couldn't even afford to do the next step, but it wasn't up until, re until after that the Uryu ended up being added to the list. And here's where the controversy lies, because you're going to have the Caleb White Knights who, you know, the precious milk that they like release and secrete to the White Knights herein lies the problem <clears throat> i think that compensation is necessary for any single person who summoned on this banner if this ever happened on dokkan dokkan would actually refund every single stone that they used to summon this is really really scummy because there's a lot of people and i'm uh, and by a lot of people i'm talking about literally like half my guild and per like i think like 25 percent of some of the other guilds in my discord and then you have the other people that are talking about it in my discord so this is like an actual issue that's like 
kind of frustrating because it doesn't affect me but when it affects like my friends and it affects people that i know spend money on this game specifically so that they can get these fragment bonus characters it's really frustrating to see Caleb do something kind of um in my opinion unethical now you'll see here that like my friend is goes hard <laughs> like he has 3000 of part three and he has five 5600 of part two already right so <clears throat> what he did and it's unfortunate what he did is he summoned and he tried to get another rangaku or another toshiro and it wasn't until this morning that he's like oh here we go the feeling when i don't have to summon for redox tosh anymore glad to tech uryu is staying as bonus for free too nice low-key feeling bad for people that summon and ended up not needing to to begin with so people literally bro i wouldn't even have summoned I wouldn't even have needed to summon if I knew both Power Uryu and Tech Uryu were bonuses, kind of salty. I didn't have to, damn I spend the orbs that I don't have to on that crap, screw you K-Lab. So you see, there are a lot of people that actually ended up summoning on this banner that didn't actually need to and I do think that compensation is kind of necessary in order for you to actually have faith in the company. Um, I know a lot of people are like pay to play, myself included, and something like this, if this doesn't get compensated, I'm even less inclined to spend money. I've currently spent a total of about $160 on BBS this month alone. Um, that is including the character pack, the golden ticket, the $24 golden ticket, and uh, another character pack. So like 140 plus tax, 155, something along those lines of that. But um, like something like this, it, gi it gives me more incentive to not spend money on the game. Uh, I've cut back significantly since fifth anniversary of Biakia, since I did like 13,000 orbs. For Biakia, no Biakia, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, this just gives me less... Uh, it, it just makes me less inclined on spending money on the game, and it gives me less faith in the company as a whole. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring... Um, I don't know if they'll bring attention to it. I have a platform, and I feel like I have an obligation in order to bring stuff like this uh, to light, because I don't think that it's right. Um if fans are butts about it i understand that a lot of people are like oh it's your fault for summoning on the banner to begin with but the reality is they've never done they've never ever ever added another unit for fragment bonus ever all right and it could have been a mistake that they put red uryu in the green in the instead of green uryu in the banner but what they also did was they had U this red uryu as a bonus unit for fragments in um what is it called uh, in other chapters of Chronicle Quest Part 3. So we, we like, it, it's very easy to make the assumption that, oh, maybe that's what they were trying to incline against. Plus, Power Uryu, like I said, is bonus for, like, Part 2 or 1. But, um, I mean, like, like I said, they've never added another fragment bonus. I think that someone screwed up and put Red Uryu instead of Green Uryu, and then they realized they goofed. And then they just added Red Uryu here as like a little quick patch. But like adding him after Chronicle Quest Part 3 has already been released and people have already started farming it. Uh, without compensation, like I, I get where people are like, it's like, oh, they shouldn't have to compensate for that. But the reality is like, you know, people literally spent money and like, I, I don't know. I like, I, I'm not saying charge back because then you get purchase banned. Cause, like that's what they do but like something like this in dokkan they would refund everything i don't, I don't think that they'll do that kayla has been i don't know man like i don't think they'll do it because they haven't really brought attention to it and it's already been like 12 hours normally they're very quick on their feet when it comes to that i do think compensation is is necessary for something like this um i know i'm repeating myself but i'm really trying to find a way to word it so that the white knights aren't like milking Caleb like they actually deserve i i, I don't know bro like yeah I'm not saying y'all, cause like, like I feel like, I feel like my community is less inclined to give Caleb the benefit of the doubt usually. Um, like I said, I, yo, I commend Caleb where credits due. Like they do, you normally do a great job with compensation. So um, I'm hoping that they'll rectify this issue. Uh, I don't know how they'll do it or if they'll even do it. Normally they don't, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I I feel like I feel like they should. But l like I said, I have a platform and a lot of people. That got screwed over by this don't have a voice to voice their opinion they'll just go into contact k-lab they'll get the automated response and then they'll get ultimately ignored right so i feel like i have an obligation to make a video like this um this video is going to be coming out on the 20th it is currently the 19th at 5 30 p.m eastern standard time um the reason that this video isn't coming out uh on the 19th like at 8 
8 p.m. whenever I plan to upload this video is simply uh, for one reason, and that's because I have another video scheduled already. So, um, yeah, yeah, and that that'll be the uh, voting video, which uh, yeah, you'll you'll see here. Shout out to the boy Aaron. But um, all right. So quick post op. Um, I decided to release this video first because I feel like this is more of an issue with uh, that requires urgency because the later I post it, the less relevant it will actually be for Caleb to get on the ball about it. Um, this other video with the, the voting stuff, that will be out tomorrow. Uh, shout out to the boy Aronyoto if you want to watch it early. Thank you for watching this video. The link will be in the description down below. I have Aronyoto's uh, sub uh, YouTube channel and Twitter linked on that video. Um, that video, like I said, will be out tomorrow instead. So I'm, I'm just going to switch the order of where I release the videos. Stay blessed, y'all. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what's up. Um, I said that I would make this video because, like, a lot of... Uh, like, a lot of the people that got screwed over actually are my friends, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like seeing my guild screwed over. I don't like seeing other people screwed over. And I'm pretty sure that it's not just my guild that ended up, like, summoning on this banner with the intentions of trying to pull the fragment bonus. You know, there's plenty of whales that are literally, like probably summoning on this banner if they didn't already have the characters right but uh i'm gonna leave it at that let me know what you guys think in the comments below um those are just my thoughts uh if y'all don't like it i mean it is what it is but um those are yeah i mean like that's just my opinion right and at the end of the day it's all opinion based right but i mean it is what it is and i y'all know guys grind on catch up up stay blessed wish you the best luck your summons like comment subscribe if you know if you enjoyed this video um yeah i mean this is more of a serious topic i don't really uh, normally I like to make jokes, you know what I'm saying, I like to be funny, uh, whatever, uh, but like something like this, I, I just, uh, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth, you know, but um, yeah, Power Ordeal wasn't bonus when it dropped for the free cuts too, that's why I sent Riddler's Dead of mine, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, if Power Ordeal was implemented as fragment bonus from the start, and and it was just uh, Riddler's Data Mine that just didn't show Power Ordeal because they added it like upon release instead of just like in the data mine files i honestly wouldn't even have a problem with it but the reality is they added power Udu in after and i think that that's like that's literally where the problem lies it's a lot of people they, they implemented this power Udu as a fragment bonus after the banner came out so yeah take that as you will uh, i'm gonna leave it at that stay blessed y'all see y'all next one peace